Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I make these little boxes to hold greeting cards with a peekaboo window in them. Now, um, these boxes can hold up to five flat cards and envelopes, and you know, three probably, you know, heavily embellished cards with envelopes. Anyway, what I'm going to do today is just kind of show you my method that I worked out and we'll go ahead and get started. So here's this little box with one of my cute little cards in it. And I've actually got three just miscellaneous cards and it's got a little back wrap. Um, and all of it is handmade. And here you can see I've got the cards and envelopes that go in there. And those are kind of one flat card and two kind of heavily embellished cards. And they just fit right in. Now, I struggle with these little string thingies because, well, I had fingernails and now I don't. So, <laughs> but they loosen up as you, as you wrap them. And so, without any further ado, we'll go ahead and get started here. Um, now, you can use, I use just regular um, wrappers uh, from packaging but you can use you know real acetate this is about I want to say maybe 80 pound paper in hindsight the heavier the paper the sturdier your box but this is what I'm going to use today because I feel like using purple and the paper size is eight and a half by eleven so you don't need to cut it down at all I'm just try and pick this piece of glue off of here it's gonna drive me crazy <laughs> okay or not so um, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start to score this. And I am going to show you a still picture here. And I will also put on my blog this picture with the measurements. So here is where we're gonna score. So we'll score on the short side at, well, I guess that's the long side. See, I get confused when I watch people's videos, which is short and which is long. But we're gonna score at the we're gonna lay on top the eight and a half by 11, <laughs> how's that sound? And we're gonna score that at two inches. And here's my little cheat sheet that I worked out. We're gonna score at two and two and a half. And then we're gonna score at seven and seven and a half. And then we're going to flip the paper and on the short side we're going to score at three quarters of an inch and an inch and a quarter and then i just flip it over and do the same three quarters of an inch and an inch and a quarter okay all my scoring is done now i personally do not like to burnish my uh, folds first I like to do my cutting first um, and the reason for that is I get confused where I'm supposed to cut it's just that simple <laughs> but there are several cuts in this and I'll show you one by one I don't have it sped up any and here's a still picture of how the cuts are supposed to look so you can see there's a couple of small tabs and some side tabs and some fold over tabs and the long side of course is the bottom of the box so getting my cheat sheet out, my that's you know my prototype I should say. I can see where I need to cut and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start cutting. So I'm gonna cut at the inside line here, and this is the top. And I'm gonna cut all the way to that line, and then I'm gonna cut right along the kind of like right along the both lines, go across both lines and then trim off right there. So you kind of look like you have a stair step. And then I like to take my small scissors to make my miters. Cause my big scissors, I, I can't be trusted. I want to get a pretty good miter on that cause it's got a tuck inside the box. So I'm going to do the same on the other side, cut to the inside line up to the first line. Okay, I'm going to turn 
and I'm going to cut all the way, cut that piece completely off, and then I'm going to trim this piece down, cut all the way to the cent to the last line, and then trim off that little excess right there. And I'm going to go ahead and do my mitering again. So again, you want a pretty good miter on this one. It doesn't glue to anything. It's just a kind of an inside flap. You don't even have to keep the flap if you don't want to. So I've got the top part done. Now I need to work on the bottom part. So I can see that I need on the bottom, I need to cut all the way to the first line. Double check. <laughs> Try flipping it over, Tracy, you <laughs> goofball. Okay, so I'm gonna cut all the way to the first line. And actually, I could have cut to the second line, but I'm gonna trim that all along there, along that edge, and then trim that edge off. And then I've got this long tab, and I'm just gonna trim the tab. And we will miter those. Not We don't have to miter them as much as the top ones because those are getting glued in, but they do need to be mitered. I, and honestly, when I watch people's videos, I get so confused trying to watch this, which is why I am not speeding through any part of this. So I know I can cut all the way up to the second line. and I can trim that whole piece off. And then I'll go ahead and cut it all the way down to the second line so I already have part of my tab. And then I'll trim that little part up to the second line and I'll do my mitering. Now, you can make like matching cards, you know, do the cards and then do your little box afterwards. Um, I have a whole box of cards that I can't find. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and we're talking a big box. Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, I have my little Christmas tree on top of it. That's why I couldn't find it. So I'm going to go ahead and burnish everything down now. Like I said, I feel like I get more accurate cuts if I don't burnish first. You do you. Um, cut with whatever you have. Use what you have. Heck, you could do this with cereal boxes. Cover them up. Make it a little more sturdy. I even uh, plan on doing one on a piece of laminated paper. The only tricky part about laminated paper is glue and so it doesn't it doesn't stick real well. It will stick, but I don't have the patience to wait for it. And tape will work, but I don't have the patience to wait to put tiny pieces of tab tape on those little bitty tabs. So <laughs> We'll see if that one comes to fruition. I do have a later video for a video hop next month showing you how to make uh, little containers for your embellishments. Um, as I put away my Christmas stuff because I've long finished my Christmas cards and it sure has taken a lot of space in my craft room. So I'm just gonna fold these tabs in, make sure they're folded in. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of liquid glue and I'm going to glue down those little tabs. Oh yeah, I forgot. I need to, I want a, I want a window in here, right? So I'm going to just take my white pencil and I'm going to measure in one inch from each edge. So I know where to trim. I'm going to use my knife to trim it. Now, if you have a big cutter, like a super big shot or whatever that thing is, or a, or a full-size Gemini, or a scan and cut, then you could probably just use some sort of a die cut to cut this out. But this is too wide to go in my Vagabond, so I may have to hand cut it. So I've got my measurements where I wanna cut, and I'm gonna go ahead and get my little um, cutting board here. I'm gonna get my metal-edged ruler and my knife. This is my little Fiskars finger blade. And I'm just gonna trim around the inside of that little box that I made. You don't have to do this. You can leave, you can decorate the box, leave it like it is, but I think it's kind of a neat 
especially if you're somebody that's going to store your cards and categorize them and things like that. If you can see the front card, then you know what kind of cards are in there. Like maybe they're thank you cards or sympathy cards or get well soon cards or happy birthday cards. So I'm just going to take my little, I want to say this is quarter inch tape, and I don't need to use the expensive red tape for this because the, um, the paper I'm sticking to it, well not paper, but wrapper I'm sticking to it will stick just fine to this. No problem. Now if you were uh, sticking together, you know, important edges, you would want to use a, a more reliable tape, a, you know, one of the red tapes. And I don't think mine has a brand name. It's just red. It's got red wrapper. It's plastic. They're, they're a pain because you have to cut it with scissors. And I'm lazy like that. I don't feel like I'd rather tear it. But I'm going to go ahead and pull the backing off of here. I don't know why. It's really satisfying doing this. <laughs> Not that I like to do it a whole bunch. But, you know, when you do these. And, oh, by the way, we are saving that little extra piece for our... Um, for our closure as kind of a reinforcement piece. So I'm just pull all that off and then I've got this little piece of a wrapper and who doesn't have wrappers of some sort in the house? If you're a crafter, you have thousands of them. They may be still wrapped up and you may have to rob some things to get them, but hey, you know, we can do that. So I go ahead and burnish this down and then I'll trim off the excess. You could measure it, but if, if I were to measure it and try and get it right, I wouldn't be able to lay it on there straight, and then I'd have tape sticking out, and then my cards would stick to the tape, and on and on and on. So I'm just going to trim this off. Okay, happy with that. Now I've got my little winder, and I'm going to go ahead and glue these tabs in. So I'm going to fold them in. I'm going to get my liquid glue and get my bone folder ready. And this is, this is super easy. There's only, you know, four parts that you have to glue on this thing. Well, if you don't include the closure. And you don't even have to use the kind of closure I used. It's just, they're kind of fun. So I'm just going to fold this up. And I'm going to get it at a 90 degree angle there. And kind of hold it so the glue takes hold. And just make sure that that edge is nice and even. You see, like like this, wipe off any excess glue. And then when we are, they're sort of holding, I'll go ahead and take my bone folder and just kind of press down on it to make sure it's nice and stuck. There we go. Now all we have left to do is fold those flaps in and fold these over and glue them down. Again, I'm using liquid glue, and this is this is reptile adhesive. It's not glue, it's adhesive. I guess there's a difference. I'm just gonna lay that on there, make sure that the line's nice and even. Kind of hold it till it starts to stick, and then I'll take the side part of my bone folder and just kind of go inside and press down, make sure it's good and stuck. And just repeat on the next side. I think it takes longer to make the closures than it takes to make the box. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could do Velcro, or you could just do like a belly band string, whatever. They're your cards. Maybe you want a big old fat ribbon. Hey, go to town. Just going to go ahead and burnish that one down, too. And there, my little my little card box is ready. So those, those flaps will go to the inside, and then this will lay down, and you'll close it however you choose to close it. So, I'm going to measure the, the, the box, and it is six inches across. So, I'm going to make a mark at the three-inch mark on each side, because that's what that way I know it's the center. I'm just using my charcoal pencil, whatever I can grab, trust me. And I'm not super particular about these types of things. But I'm going to take this excess piece of paper that I had, and I'm going to cut it down into one and a quarter inch squares. And I just need two of them. And that's kind of going to be our reinforcer. Okay. 
these small cuts are <laughs> daunting to me sometimes. Um, but they're, and I have a mini trimmer. Did I get it out? No, I did not. Why? Because this one is easy to grab. <laughs> the mini one I have actually put away. So now I'm going to use a heavier cardstock. This is a 120 pound accent opaque cardstock to cut my circles uh, because I feel like it just needs a heavier stock. And I'm going to cut four of those. And I'm going to cut two little reinforcers from one of my uh, little Tim Holtz kits. You don't need them. They're pretty much decorative at this point, but yeah, I want them. So that's that. And I'll go ahead and get those all cut out. All right, now let's get them pulled off my magic mat here. Get them all poked out there. Get my little reinforcers off. Okay, there we go. So what you're gonna do is with the reinforcers, and again, you don't have to use those, they're decorative. Um, I'm gonna glue glue it on and try and get it centered <laughs> inside the circle. I fight with this. I imagine, you know, I could go to the trouble of marking and stuff like that, but I just can't be asked. It, it, it's, it's fine. <laughs> I'm good with it. And the, so two of those, you're gonna put two of the, the uh, circles together, but you're not gonna glue them. And then you're gonna find one of your squares and you're gonna find your pokey tool and I'm gonna lay this all down on the square, trying to get it all centered. There, let's, let's get up there in the camera view, and I'm gonna poke down into here. And notice I'm doing the poking on my cutting mat, because I don't wanna wreck my poker, but it's still gonna fight me, so I'm just gonna do it this way. And just be careful you don't poke your fingers. Um, you can trust me from experience. Now I can see where the hole started, so I'm going to go ahead and complete that hole. Now what I'm going to do, and, the, and uh, um, I'm going to go ahead and glue on the second little piece of uh, reinforcer on the other. Um, I don't know what you call these closures. Yeah, the other closure circle thingy. Apparatus, whatever. <laughs> Try and get that centered on there. And I'll go ahead and do my poking here too. And guess what? They don't have to be perfect. Just do them. Okay, I'm gonna poke, you know, I'm gonna poke a little bit harder here so that it'll grab all three and then I can poke all the way through. Much better. So I'm gonna take my envelope here and I'm going to place my little reinforcer on there and uh, poke the hole first. I'm gonna place my reinforcer. I'm gonna glue my reinforcer down. Then I decide, well, that's probably not the best idea, but I mean, it's fine, but it just, it's hard to find the hole. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and get my, turn this over and grab one of my brads here. And I think I'll use the silver ones. I have some colored ones, but they're really tiny. So I'm looking for my silver ones. Where'd you guys go? There you are. I'm just going to grab a brad. I'm gonna poke the brad through the two hole, the two circles, and then flip my little piece over and poke the brad through there. See, I already have pilot holes for those, so I'm good to go with that. But now I've got glue on my fingers. Never mind, I'm gonna go ahead and just poke that all the way through. And then open out the brad on the inside and, it's, and I'm sorry, I'm a little bit off camera here and you probably can't see anyway because I've got my fat hands in the way. But I'm trying to open up that brad and then I like to take my bone folder and just kind of push down on it. Make sure it's nice and tight. Okay, now I'm gonna do my second piece and this one I got smarter. I'm gonna get my brad. <laughs> Drop my brad, pick up my brad. Poke it through everybody. 
hanging onto my brad, put some glue around the reinforcer piece. Just making sure I'm getting the edges there. I'm gonna poke my hole in my um, envelope. Grab the whole apparatus here, stick it in the hole, and then open out the brad. And again, give it a little push with my bone folder. There we go. Now we've got our little, little circle closure thingies and I'm gonna find some string and I believe I have some purple and white baker's twine. That's what I'm hoping for. So I'm just kind of hunting that down. There, it's close enough. I'm gonna cut a piece about mm, nine inches. I don't know, maybe 10 inches. I'm just gonna start to wrap. Just push it inside of where those circle parts are. And then you can, it's hard to do when the thing's empty, but you can start wrapping it around so you get the idea but what you need to do is put some cards in there before you really try to close it. So I'm hunting down just any old cards I can find here and three envelopes. I'm gonna place them inside, tuck the little flaps down, lay this top down and close it up or fight to close it up, yeah. <laughs> and you just twist it around in a figure eight and let the excess hang down. You could put a little bead on there or something if you wanted to. There we have it. There we have our little our little card gift box. I want to thank you so much for watching. And if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, um, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified each time that I upload a video. Thanks everyone. Y'all have a great day.